Hey, magandang buhay. So ako si Sir Ben at narito ako upang i-discuss ang parabola. Okay, so ito yung second topic sa grade 11, free calculus. Okay, so ready ka na? Okay, that is great. So bago tayo mag-discuss, again, do not forget to subscribe sa channel natin. And then, syempre, paki-like na rin yung video na ito na napapanood ninyo ngayon. Saka paki-share na rin sa mga kaklase ninyo para syempre, dumami pa yung matuto ng free calculus, specifically yung parabola. Okay? So, let's start the discussion with the definition of a parabola. So, let me read the definition. Let F be a point and L a given line not containing F. The set of all points P such that its distances from F and from L are the same is called a parabola. So, the point F is called the focus and yung line L is the direct direct clicks so to us to understand more about the definition let us have this um, diagram or this picture yung blue line dyan yan yung set of points okay yung bawat point dyan yung distance nya doon sa focus natin at saka yung distance nya papunta doon sa green line natin which the directrix is equal ibig sabihin kung may, kunyari is, say for example yung point nandito as you can see on our screen yung mouse mismo yung distance nya dar diretso papunta dito sa directrix at saka yung distance niya papunta doon sa focus equal yan. Another example, kung nandito naman yung point, yung distance nito papunta sa directrix perpendicular distance ha? at saka yung from that point papunta sa focus equal lang sila. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng parabola. Okay? Ngayon, yung eto yung vertex, eto yung turning point ng ating parabola. So if uh, kumbaga ito yung if the parabola opens upward, ito yung lowest point. If the parabola opens downward, ito yung highest point, okay? Basta ito yung point na kung saan mag-iiba na ng direction yung ating parabola. Okay? Yung kulay violet naman diyan, yun yung axis of symmetry. Ibig sabihin ng axis of symmetry, ito yung nagdi-divide sa parab parabola into two equal parts. Okay? Now, let's focus now on the equation of a parabola. So, yung itong first two sets na to, ito yung ating general form. Okay? So, x squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. Saka yung y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So, Sir, sir Ben, ano yung pinakaiba niyan? Mamaya i-discuss natin. Tapos, yung standard form naman, ayan sila. So, ano yung pinakaiba niyan mga yan? Yung nasa taas, ibig sabihin niyan, yung parabola natin, it opens upward or downward. Pagdating naman yung nasa baba, it opens to the left or it opens to the right. So, by just simply um, looking at it, malalaman natin na kapag uh, nag-open siya ng upward or downward, kapag kayo naka-square is yung x. As you can see here, x squared. Tapos, dito na, dito rin yung x squared. Okay? Yung kapag uh, open to the left, um, to, the, to the left and to the right, yung y squared naman yung may square or yung may exponent na number 2. As you can see here on our screen. Okay? So, proceed tayo sa mga examples. So, determine the vertex, focus, directrix, and as axis of symmetry. Let's have uh, number 1. Y squared is equal to negative 36. So, kung mapapansin nyo, napakasimple ng ating equation. Basically, kapag ka ganyan yung itsura ng ating equation, most likely, not really most likely, pero definitely, yung ating vertex is nasa origin. Okay? Nasa 0, 0 siya. In that case, um, obvious rin naman na um, yung parabola natin, it will open to the left. Sir Ben, bakit? Yung naka-square, y. Ngayon, Sir Ben, bakit left? Negative kasi yung kasama ng x. So, ibig sabihin nun, it opens to the left. Okay? Next is, yung x is equal to 0. Ito yung equation ng ating, uh, tawag dito, ito yung equation ng ating axis of symmetry. Ibig sabihin, ito yung line na kung saan it divides the parab parabola into two equal parts. No? Next, so ang hinahanap na lang, so meron na, na tayong vertex, Meron na tayong axis of symmetry. Ang hinahanap na lang natin dito yung focus sa kanyang directrix. Pag nalaman na natin yung value ng A, um, malalaman na rin natin kung nasan yung focus sa kanyang directrix. Bakit? Kasi yung value ng A, ito yung distance from the vertex going to the focus. Same thing ng um, distance from the vertex going to the directrix. Okay? Based yan sa definition ng parabola. Okay? So, how do we uh, identify the value of A? We know that ito, yung negative 36 na to, that is actually 4A. Solving for A, definitely, A will be negative 9. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung focus ay nasa 
um, tawag dito, yung ibig sabihin ng negative 9 is 9 units to the left. Okay? Ibig sabihin nito, again, yung focus is nasa left ng vertex 9 units. So, how do we identify yung ating focus ngayon since nasa left siya? So, um, from 0, 0, pupunta tayo ng left 9 units. So, in that case, that would be negative 9, 0. How do we identify the directrix? Kabaliktaran. So, ibig sabihin, magbibilang lang tayo ng 9 units to the right. So, in that case, um, x will be equal to 9. Okay? So, eto nyan yung ating directrix. Okay? So, next example tayo. y squared plus 8x minus 6y plus 25 is equal to 0. Um, by, by simply looking at the equation, alam ko na na it's either right lang yan or open to the left kasi yung, yung naka-square is yung y. Okay? So, ano yung first na gagawin natin dito? I-convert muna natin yung, kasi yung equation natin nasa general form. I-convert muna natin siya into standard form. So, how? I-isolate muna natin yung, di ba yung naka-square yung y? So, yung y na yon lahat ng may y, i-isolate lang natin sila sa isang um, side ng equation and then yung, yung x and then yung constant nandun sila sa kabilang side ng equation natin. As you can see on our screen. Next na gagawin natin dito, completing the square. Ano yung complete natin dito? Siyempre, yung may square. Uh, yung, yung dito, yung may square. Okay? So, completing the square, again, kalahate and then square. So, 6 kalahate is 3. Square mo nun, that would be 9. So, ibig sabihin nun, we are going to add 9 on both sides. So, this will be y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to negative 8x minus 25 plus 9. Simplify natin yung nasa left side. So, um, tawag dito, um, perfect square trinomial yan. So, that would be y minus 3. Yung nasa kanan naman, that would be 8x minus 16. So, hindi dito nyan, um, i-factor natin yung negative 8. So, magiging ganyan yung ating um, form. In this case, nasa, tawag dito, nasa standard form na siya, we can already identify kung ano yung vertex. Based dito, yung vertex natin is negative 2, positive 3. Yun yung ating magiging vertex. So again, based din dito, alam ko na rin na it opens to the left kasi nag-negative yung dito niya. So since nag-open siya sa left, ano yung magiging axis of symmetry natin? So opens to the left, so kumbaga, pag ganyan siya, parang baliktad na C, di ba? So opens, paano mo mahahati yung C into two equal parts? Di ba yung hati niya is horizontal line. So sa Cartesian plane, para magkaroon tayo ng horizontal line, yung line na yon dadaan siya sa uh, mga values ng Y. So in that case, yung ating axis of symmetry natin, uh, yung ating axis of symmetry will be y is equal to 3, no? Next, so meron na tayong axis of symmetry, meron tayong vertex, ang wala pa natin dito yung focus at saka yung directrix. Kagaya ng ginawa natin sa example number 1, we need to identify the value of a. Again, yung 4a that is actually negative 8. Ayun siya. Solving for a, that would be negative 2. So in that ibig sabihin nito yung focus natin nasa left ng vertex. Ilang units? 2 units. So, starting from the vertex, pupunta tayo sa kaliwa niya, 2 units. So, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So, therefore, yung focus natin is negative 4, 3. How about yung directrix? Pabaliktad naman. Pupunta naman tayo sa kanan. So, negative 2, pupunta sa kanan, dalawa, negative 1, and then 0. So, in that case, x will be equal to 0. Yan yung equation ng ating directrix. Okay? Next example. We have x squared minus 6x minus 12y minus 51 is equal to 0. So, dito nyan, um, it's either it opens upward or it opens downward. Kasi nga, yung x yung may square. First things first, um, kung, um, kailangan i-express natin siya into standard form. Again, lahat ng may x, pagsasamahin, and then yung y, and then yung constant term nasa kabilang side ng equation natin. So, uh, mangyari yan dito. So, ATE lang. So, we will have x squared minus 6x is equal to 12y plus 51. Completing the square, again, on both sides of the equation, we will add 9. Simplifying yung nasa left side, that is x minus 3 squared. Yung nasa right side naman, that will be 12y plus 60. Okay? Ngayon, um, i-factor out natin yung common factor sa right side. Yung common factor nila is 12. So, that would be 12 times the quantity of y plus 5. In this case, alam na natin na yung parabola natin opens upward kasi positive yung nandito. 
Next, alam na rin natin yan kung ano yung vertex natin. Yung vertex natin is 3, negative 5. Since alam na natin yung vertex, alam na rin natin kung ano yung magiging axis of symmetry. Opens upward, pag ganyan siya, so yung axis of symmetry, vertical siya. So kapag ka vertical yung axis of symmetry, value ng x yung kukunin natin. In that case, yung axis of symmetry natin is x is equal to 3. So ang next na lang na kukunin natin yan is yung focus at saka yung um, directrix. Okay, so paano yan? Kunin natin yung value ng A. And kagaya ng ginawa kanina, yung 12 dito, equal yan sa 4A. Solving 4A, that would be 3. So in that case, ibig sabihin nito, so opens upward siya, no? Ibig sabihin nito, yung focus is 3 units, okay? So starting from the vertex, magbibilang tayo ng 3 units paakyat. Kasi positive yung A natin. Ulitin ko, starting from the vertex, magbibilang tayo ng 3 units Paakyat. So, ba't ba hindi pa kanan? Kasi nga, it opens upward. Okay? So, in that case, so from 3, magbibilang tayo ng, oh, from 3, negative 5, so magbibilang tayo ng 3, paakyat. So, again, that would be 3, negative 2. So, we will start from negative 5, magbilang ka ng 3, paakyat. Negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. And, same thing yan with um, the directrix, pabaliktad siya. So, from negative 5, magbibilang ka ng 3, pababa. Negative 5, negative 6, um, negative 7, negative 8. So, therefore, that would be y is equal to negative 8. Yan yung magiging equation ng ating directrix. Next set of examples natin. Identify the standard form and general form of the parabola based on the given conditions. Example number 1, given yung vertex at saka yung focus. No? So, dito, we can... Um, we can already identify na it opens to the right. Sir Ben, bakit? Again, vertex, pagbutang focus. Kung i-graph or kung ipa-plot yung points na to, from the vertex going to the focus, saan siya pumunta? From 7-11, pumunta siya ng 16-11. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung point naglakad, papuntang right. Next. So, using the standard form, we can already identify um, parang kalahati na ng standard form makukuha na natin. Ang wala na lang ngayon dito is yung value ng A. So, paano natin makukuha yung value ng A? So, gagamitin natin yung values ng X sa ating vertex at saka sa focus. Value ng A, that is yung 16 minus 7. So, kukunin na lang, lang natin yung distance ng focus at saka ng vertex. Yun lang naman ang kailangan natin dito. No? So, 16 minus 7 and that would be 9. So, in that case, we can now substitute the value of A dito sa ating um, standard form. So, in that case, syempre, magiging 9 yan. So, our answer now would be y minus 11 squared is equal to 36 times the quantity of x minus 7. Yan yung magiging standard form natin. Paano natin i-express ito in general form? Kung gagawin natin itong general form, um, expand mo to, tapos distribute mo lang yung dito. So, this will be y squared minus 22y plus 121 is equal to 36x minus 252. And then, um, lahat sila kailangan nasa right side, yung nasa, ah, nasa left side, yung nasa right side, dapat zero lang siya. So in that case, ito yung uh, magiging final answer natin. Okay? So, ang baga, ang ginawa ko lang dito is we add negative 36 on both sides, tapos we also added positive 252 on both sides. Okay? Next example tayo. Um, given yung vertex at saka given yung directrix. Okay, yung equation ng ating directrix. So, from negative 3, 0. So, nasa siya? Nasa kaliwa. Tapos, yung directrix, directrix natin nasa y, negative 5, bumaba siya. Okay? So, in that case, upward yung opening ng ating parabola. Kasi nga, from the vertex, tapos, di ba yung directrix, lagi nasa likod lang yan. So, ibig sabihin, opens upward yung ating uh, parabola. Okay? So, in this case, since upward ito, we can actually identify na yung half ng ating standard form using yung standard form na equation ng parabola. Okay? So, ayan siya. Ngayon, yung focus natin na negative 3, 5. Sir Ben, saan nanggano yung negative 3, 5 na yan? Ano ba yung layo ng vertex sa directrix? From 0, bumaba siya ng 5 units. So, in that case, pap, um, kagaya din siya papunta dun sa focus. Aakyat ngayon siya ng 5 units. So, in that case, kaya yung focus natin is negative 3, 5. Ngayon, dito ngayon, um, ang ginawa ko lang dito is, sinubstitute ko lang yung doon sa equation natin, di ba yung general form natin is 
since opens upward ito, x minus yung mismo coordinates ng x natin dito, squared natin yun is equal to 4a tapos y minus k. Substitute lang. Wala na tayong ilalagay doon sa katabi ng y kasi 0 naman yung nandi dito. Okay? Ngayon, um, ang next na gagawin natin is identify natin kung ano yung value ng a. So, kunin mo lang yung distance ng focus sa vertex or kay actually, kay, um, basta malaman mo lang kung gano'ng kalayo yung vertex sa directrix or yung um, vertex sa focus. In our case, 5 units yung layo niya. So, in our case here, yung a natin, papaltan lang natin yan ng 20. Ay, ng 5 pala. Kasi, 4 times 5 is 20. Ayun, ganun siya. So, eto na ngayon yung ating standard form. If we want to express this in general form, expand mo lang yun sa left side. So, that would be x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 20y. And then, um, add negative 20y on both sides of the equation. So, yan na yung magiging general form ng ating parabola. Down to our last example, we have given yung focus, which is negative 2, negative 5, at sa kind directrix, which is um, x is equal to 6. So, dito, negative 2, negative 5. Nasaan ba yung negative 2, negative 5? Nasa quadrant 3 siya. Tapos, yung directrix natin is nasa x is equal to 6. So, um, na, nasa, tawag dito, nasa right side ng ating Cartesian plane. So, ibig sabihin dito, kung nasa right side yung ating Cartesian plane, ah, nasa right side yung directrix, tapos yung focus natin is nasa quadrant 3, which is on the left side of the Cartesian plane, ibig sabihin, um, nag-open sa left yung ating parabola. Okay? So, ano yun yung next na gagawin natin dito? Let us identify nasan ba yung vertex natin. So, again, no? yung vertex natin, nakanggit na lang yan sa directrix at saka sa focus. So, kukunin lang natin yung midpoint ng negative 2 at saka ng 6. So, kunin lang natin yung average niyan and we will get 2. So, ibig sabihin, yung vertex natin is nasa 2, negative 5. So, may vertex na tayo, plug in lang natin doon sa equation ng ating parabola. Again, since it opens to the left, yung y yung naka-square dito. So, we will have y minus negative 5 squared is equal to 4a times x minus 2. Solving for the value of a, again, gaano ba kalayo yung focus sa vertex? So, from negative 2 hanggang 2. So, actually, that is negative 4. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung, yung distance niya is 4 units to the left. Okay? Yung focus is nasa left ng ating vertex, 4 units. Okay? So, in our case, ang gagawin lang natin dito, 4a, or yung a natin, since a is negative 4, substitute lang natin siya dito. Ayan siya. Okay? So, again, negative times negative, that is positive 5. No? Baka mamaya, hindi lang uh, ma-overlook natin. So, this will become now negative 16. So, um, eto na yan yung ating standard form. No? So, if you want to express this in general form, expand natin yung y plus 5, and then, i-distribute lang natin yung negative 16. As you can see on our screen. Tapos, again, add lang tayo ng positive 16x sa both sides, at saka negative 32 sa both sides din. Ayan siya. So, um, ayusin lang natin siya. So, y squared plus 16x plus 10y minus 7. Yan na yung ating magiging general form. Okay? So, um, again, sana may natutunan sa video na to. Please do um, like and share yung video natin about sa parabola para again, kagaya na sinabi ko sa una, marami pa ang matuto. And with that, maraming salamat sa pakikinig and magandang buhay.